And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Saturday afternoon action on the show. It's the Chicago Cubs going up against the New York Mets. First pitch coming your way next. Ladies and gentlemen, your New York Mets. So to a board and two out scoreless game. And here is Christian Franklin. Second inning here, no score. Hit hard on the ground to short. Toss to Alonzo. Third out, and that ends the frame. Cubs strand a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. We head to the bottom of the second and stepping in for New York, Steve Rogers. Maybe not an elite level switch hitter, but still a guy. Some contact and just success as a hitter from both sides of the plate. There's a swing and a drive. Go, go, go. Bang! He'll circle the bases, and just like that, they're out front. It's 1 0. He ambushed him right there, Siggy. Yeah, swinging on that first pitch, and I think losing one over the fence is exactly what he had in mind as well. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do. Back here at City Field, bottom of the fourth. Now here's the switch hitting power threat, Steve Rogers. Morahone, back to work. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. That's back. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. They're still chasing it as he rounds second. And he makes it into third with a leadoff triple. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Man, I love the hustle out of the box right there to make that triple happen. And just an absolute laser into the opposite field gap. He was digging hard the entire way. Isan Diaz up to hit now. Number two, designated hitter, Isan. Next offering is down low. Hey, let her rip one time. And a pitch. Out towards left center. Snags it on the run. And there's one away. The first baseman. Now, Pete Alonso, seventh in the National League in RBIs. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Get your pitch on. The next offering misses. Two and one. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Here comes a pitch. There's a swing and a miss. Well, he looks fresh out there. Just needs to get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. Run around at third, one gone. Next offering misses, and it's three and two. Got him swinging. And there are two outs. Now here is Mario Lima. Hey, come on now, big dog. Get your pitch. Got 
Next pitch misses, and the count is three and one. Kicks and fires. Three balls, two strikes. Let's go now, one time. Hey, come on now, one time, right here. Hit high in the air, there it goes, Cena! His ninth homer of the year, and they boost their lead. It's 4-1. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. There he got a splitter that he was able to handle, allowed that pitch to travel a little bit deeper, and when it was time to commit, his hands exploded through the zone. Cal Raleigh, the next Cub to hit. Thanks, Cal, certainly Cal, doing his himself. very best out there on the mound to bring that win streak to a halt. One down, one down. On the ground, out to short. Slings it across. That's it out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Now it's the right fielder, Nelson Velasquez. Right now batting. Right fielder, Nelson Velasquez. Smash to the left side. Toss to Alonzo, and that is that. To the bottom of the six we go, four, five, six, coming up. It's the Mets four, and the Cubs one. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Fernando Castilla. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and you need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Bottom of the sixth inning. Now at the plate, Steve Rogers. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. That hits the dirt, and that is ball one. Nice warm day here, good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it. And that part, you can get on the inside part. Of it. All set for the start of the inning. Now batting Jamer Candelario. Oh, that ball drilled back up the box and nailed the pitcher. Has some trouble with it. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Here's the left fielder, Christian Franklin. Ground ball right side could be two. There's one. On to first in time. Double play. Man at second here with two away. And next for the Mets, Steve Rogers. He's already homered in this game. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. This to center field, Canario. Sizing this one up, brings it in with a nice run and grab. And that is that. Coming up. The number seven is such a cool and sort of lucky number. Well, this team has been playing really well, but to win seven games in a row, uh, there's been some luck and there's been some really good play. I think you get to this point, you start to look at, can we double that? Make it double digits, make it two touchdowns, make it 14. 6-1 is your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding.